Hey Google, turn the lights to 100%. Sir, setting four lights brightness to 100%. Hi there, I'm Matthew. Welcome to this week's video where we're going to talk about the importance of using the tools that you have to the best of their ability. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because a lot of people out there, myself included, we all get caught up in the new gear, new lenses, cameras, new this, new that, cool, awesome new technology, and we forget about the cameras that we have. I bought this, my A6000, and it sat over here next to my other camera for months. I didn't use it, and I only recently started shooting with it, and I'm like, I bought this camera, I should be using it. There's no reason not to be using the gear that you have. I even recently just found this, my old Canon T2i, and I actually found some really nice glass on it. Stick with what you have and don't feel like you always have to have the latest, greatest, new thing. I am 100% guilty of this across the board. I've been thinking about purchasing a 6D Mark II for it basically since it came out, and I've convinced myself numerous times not to buy one for this exact reason. I have a great full frame camera already, I have my A6000, I have a whole bunch of other gear that I'm not really using like I should be. I recently made the decision to sell my GoPro Hero 4 because I really just don't use it. I really like the size of this camera. It's a really, really nice compact size, but I'm just not getting the video that I want out of it. I actually lost it. I had no idea where it was for a while. It found it back in the closet over there somewhere. The reason is because I haven't used it in six months, and I decided that if I'm not going to be using this tool, I want to either get rid of it, sell it, upgrade or something along those lines. I'm not entirely certain yet what I'm gonna do, but it's just been sitting in my closet for the last few months and I feel like that's a waste of money. It's a waste of the resources that I have and I want to just encourage everybody out there, shoot with what you have. Don't be, I, I'll reiterate what I said in the first video, shoot with what you have. Don't go crazy about new gear. New gear is awesome, it's great. There are many, many advantages to getting new cameras, lenses, mics, monitors, all this. Use the tools that you have. Even if it is just an old T2i, I have shot plenty of stuff that was halfway decent, pretty decent content on this camera. And so my encouragement again, Get out there, shoot with the tools that you have at your disposal, even if that means that, yeah, you pull out your phone and you're, you're out there somewhere and you want to shoot something and you only have your phone. That's why I keep a DSLR with me all, at all times, but your phone will do pretty well. Your little A6000 will do pretty well. Even an old T2i like this will do pretty well. So get out there, shoot content, post something. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're producing content and learning from the mistakes that you've made, that is what is important and that's what matters. I, I don't think that I like any of the videos that I've ever created and I think that's important because if you, you're okay with the quality of your videos, you're never gonna get better. And so to me, it's really important that you're always pushing yourself Pushing the gear that you have, use it to its fullest, and get out there, shoot, create, and make something awesome. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear all about what you guys are creating. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next week.